Hello and welcome to the next module of our interactive Click SAP enablement series. My name is Matthias Anders and I'm happy to introduce the Click SAP BEX connector to you. The Click SAP BEX connector belongs to a family of SAP NetWeaver certified Click connectors, providing access to different SAP artifacts in the SAP application layer. This picture shows all the different options that we have to integrate with SAP BW in general. Today, we will only focus on the SAP BEX connector and the BW query connection functionality. Let's first focus on the highlights of the SAP BEX connector. Big asset is that you can connect to existing BW queries without creating new versions of those queries. So all the stuff that you created in the past, all the effort that you invested in the past can be leveraged using the SAP BEX connector. In this context, of course, you have the chance to leverage the existing business logic. So if you have restricted key figures, calculated key figures defined within the queries, you can reuse it using our connector. The connector also supports variable structures and additional attributes that you typically use when designing BW queries. You can use single sign-on to integrate with the SAP BW security so that you only see the data that you're allowed to see. You can add additional master data objects like hierarchies by using other connectors from our portfolio. The BEX connector can be used in different data access scenarios. We will see this within the live demonstrations later on. You cannot only work with one BW query, but you can connect different queries within one click application at one time. And to sum this up, the connector works with classic BW systems and also the newer versions like BW on HANA or BW for HANA. When creating new SAP data related use cases, you of course have to be aware of some limitations. First of all, all the limitations regarding our connectors, especially the SAP BEX connector, are listed on help.click.com. Most of them are at least based on the SAP's interface, which is used in the background and the related system configuration on the SAP side. You always have to keep in mind that BW queries are definitely not designed to do mass data extraction. So if you do have a high demand for, for data, high volume of data, you might take a look at alternative connectors from our portfolio or use some of the best practices, which we come to later on. But you also have to keep in mind that specific query design options like dynamic layout, dynamic structures, whatever you want to use over there, there are lots of options, might have an effect on the data extraction process. If you encounter any specific issues with queries with dynamic design options, you might have a chance to remove them from the query definition. At the end of this video, we will cover some best practices around the BEX connector in general. Okay, so let's take a look at the different data access scenarios which are in general possible using Click on top of SAP. You can see that we offer a wide range of data access scenarios. So it's not only data caching like we see within a Click data layer option on the right side. We also have the option to have live access using dynamic views, live or direct access, or even ODAC, which stands for on-demand app generation. Let us now focus on the different data access scenarios and let's start with a click data layer scenario. We will switch our role to a classic consumer who wants to explore and analyze the data provided by the BEX connector. In this click data layer scenario, the pre-work has already been made by someone else for us. Our colleague acquired the data for us and created several different views, so-called sheets for us, which will help us to analyze the data. 
as the data is already available within the click in memory cache. We won't experience any loading times and are able to explore all the data without any boundaries. You can see the dimensionality and that the click associative index helps us to uncover hidden insights within the data, which won't be visible in any other query based tool. So from a business user perspective, this is a very simple use case. Let's now switch to a more advanced use case for power users. SAP power users that are familiar using the VAX analyzer or analysis for office will easily find themselves within a live or a direct access scenario. Those users are typically performing ad hoc analysis for their own purpose or providing reports or analytic applications for their peers. Let's take a look at the live demonstration and see how easy it is to acquire data from an SAP VW system live. Within this empty application, we first have to add data to it. Clicking on add data leads us to the data manager, which offers connectivity to a wide range of data sources and of course also predefined data connections. We do have an existing SAP BEX connection to our BW system already prepared for us. This can also be based on single sign-on to leverage the SAP BW security model. We can just go ahead and search for our desired query, which we want to use, like the SD demo query. And now we can see a list of all the available dimensions, measures, and also the variables, which might be familiar to you as an SAP BW power user. Let's go ahead and select a bunch of dimensions and measures to analyze. After selecting the dimensions and measures, we can just go ahead and add data. The query has been executed based on our selected dimensions and measures. The data which we retrieved from SAP BW is now loaded into the click in memory cache. And with the help of the augmented intelligence capabilities of ClickSense, we can now easily explore our data. For example, we can just use natural language to ask for specific data assets. In my case, I'm interested in the net value by customer. You can see that those visualizations have been created automatically for us and we can just reuse those visualizations to build a comprehensive dashboard based on this natural language query. The next data access scenario is called on-demand app generation and is often used for highly governed self-service use cases. In this case, we first have to define some input parameters as a consumer before we can start to analyze the desired data. In this specific demo scenario, we can choose between two different queries, but we don't have a chance to define the dimensionality nor the measures included in our application. The application is generated on the fly for us and only exists on the ClickSense server for a configurable timeframe before it will automatically be deleted. You can see again that the layout of this application is predefined so that the business users don't necessarily have to enter the design mode of ClickSense before starting to analyze the data. Of course, we could again use the augmented capabilities of ClickSense to enhance the different visualizations within this application. The next live demo focuses on the SAP power users again 
and highlights the live data exploration capabilities of ClickSense. In this case, the Click in-memory engine is only used as a high-performance cache, and we are executing a pushdown to the source, which is in this case, of course, responsible for an appropriate response time. On the left hand side, we can see all the queries which are available for us. We can go ahead, select the desired query, select dimensions and measures we want to analyze, and go ahead and press the refresh button to execute the pushdown to SAP. The query is executed within SAP BW and this dynamic table gets filled with the data retrieved. Afterwards, we can easily go ahead and change the definition of our query. This scenario can also be combined with an ODAC scenario indicated by the app navigation link below. The scenario is not limited to tables only. You could also use any type of visualization which is available within the ClickSense standard or even visualization extensions. The dynamic view scenario also supports multiple queries or even connecting to different types of data sources if applicable. For example, if you want to analyze data from SAP BW and add some customer data coming from your cloud-based CRM system, you can use dynamic views for it. Hopefully, we were able to demonstrate the power of ClickSense integrated into your SAP environment. Let me sum up why it makes sense to use Click on top of SAP. You can deploy Click wherever you want, on-premise, within a private cloud based on your vendor of choice or simply use click manage deployments within our click services. You can use click to analyze all of your data with any kind of combination without making compromises regarding performance. This helps your organization to increase data literacy for all of your knowledge workers. Time to value is always important and click projects are much faster compared to other vendors. Click provides one platform for all analytic use cases without the need for expensive third-party add-ons. Click's SAP integration is the key success factor for our projects. It provides maximum flexibility accessing different data layers, master data, metadata, and security definitions. This concludes today's learning module. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episodes. Take care and goodbye.